Hey guys, welcome to Life Cave Insight. I'm Marcus, music producer, lighting director, programmer and official MA trainer. This is MA Quick Tips. What is release first cue? So, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to create a, f a small sequence with three cues. Q1 is just a dimmer at 100%. Let's select this. Um, Q2 is a position value, like uh, this here. Create second cue. And the third step is a color. Maybe we take red. So let's say, save this one as Q3. Now, let's press go. This is Q1, as we have sorted. This is Q2, and this is Q3. And now I press go again, and we are now jumping back to the top of the queue list. So as the Granome 3 is a tracking console, we have only stored the dimmer value in Q1, the position value in Q2, and the color value in Q3. But now, if we are jumping back from Q3 to Q1, it should normally nothing happens, because the dimmer is already on, and we only track the values, but it is still releasing everything. This is why because we have here release first step on. This is the uh, standard one and we can disable this. And now it is acting as a fully tracking console without ignoring the queue list um, position. So that means this is Q, let's off this. Q1, only dimmer value. Q2, only position value. Q3, only the color value. And now if I'm going to jump back to Q1, nothing will happen on the stage because the dimmer value has already been set to 100 and on Q2 the position has already been set and in Q3 it's also tracking only the value. So that means that um, when we have the release first step option disabled, it's not releasing the values and it's fully tracking them through from the last queue to the first queue again. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.